ah yes, nothing like the experience of watching a new show, or an old show that you'd probably never seen before. In this video, I'm going to check out an old show, and, I've have, and I have heard of this show before, but I've decided to finally check it out. And that show is Booba. That one post was a hint to this video, by the way. Maybe you've heard of it. It's from the same company that did Teletubbies, Ragdoll Productions. I'm a big fan of Teletubbies, as you know, and it's one of my top five favorite shows. So maybe Booba is just as good, right? Well, I actually, oh, well, I actually only watched just the opening to it. It was something else. Plus, it was very long, so I felt convinced to check out an episode. What episode? Well, I decided to check out the episode, A Pile of Balls. It's a pile of balls. With all that said, let's check it out. 20 minutes later. Well, I watched the episode, my thoughts, it was very odd and mesmerizing. I'll talk about some things that were on my mind when watching this episode. First, there was the intro. While it's very cool and has a lot of stuff going on, it's, it's honestly very long and very slow. But basically, we see the Boo Ball, the home of the Boobas, fly to different parts of the world, and we hear kids say Booba over and over again. The Boobas sleep in these little cribs that look very comfy. So basically with the show, the Boobas dance, fall down, and go to sleep. Just like in Teletubbies. Only the Boobas don't do as much stuff as the Teletubbies do. One thing that the Boobas do have is something called the Story People. It's basically similar to the TV events that Teletubbies has, only different. We see these people play with different objects. It's similar to how Teletubbies has the something appeared from far away segments. It's not as enjoyable as the Teletubby TV events or the something appeared from far away. And I do find some of those to be interesting. But yeah. After the story people, we see the Boobas dance again, and then they go to bed, and then we see the credits. So yeah, that's that's basically the show. So, would I watch Booba again? Well, like I said, it's very odd and mesmerizing. So, I think I might. I mean, it doesn't have the same charm as Teletubbies does, but considering how strange the show is, I kinda wanna check out more of it. Well, that's my thoughts on Booba. What do you think of Booba? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I keep comparing the show to Teletubbies, probably because the shows are similar and were made by the same company. I think I know what video I'll do someday, a comparison between Teletubbies and Boobas. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, go have some fun, be safe online, and look on the bright side. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching, now go have some fun.